Today we're going to continue working on the geothermal greenhouse. So we're still working on that north wall. And we did get the door in. We're starting to frame a window down here. Filling in the wall on the south side. So you see we have this space down here between the roof and the ground. So we'll put some two inch foam on the ground and up to the roof and cover that with plastic. And then we will berm it up over the top. We've got to dig a trench here to hold in the bottom. And then it's going to, it's resting on this post right here, up at the top. We've had to notch out the insulation where these posts come down, just so that the foam board will lay flat uh, against here. So we've got a nice straight up and down wall. And you know, it's not very buried very deep right now, but it's pretty good and solid. This beautiful dirt. I should say soil. Soil is the correct term. Joel is tougher than I am. You see the head net? No head net? Oh, I'm trying to tough, get <laughs> toughened up for the bugs. <laughs> The gnats this week have been like small hummingbirds. Yeah, they're out in full force. I really usually, wet up here. I can usually stand them okay, but when they start going up my nose, oh, Kyle's calling. After filling in all of the cracks with spray foam, Joel decided to pound in some stakes here to add to the stability of the wall. And then we got to work on the window and the siding to complete the east end wall. Joel is working on a joint that is on all of the frame pieces. It holds the purlins in and they have to be removed just to make a flat surface for the siding to attach to. Are you helping? Good girl. Dig that dirt. I'll meet you up there. So Joel and I put off putting more dirt into the greenhouse in hopes that we'd have a working skid loader at this point. And as you can see, we do not. So we are putting it in there by hand. And it's just in the cold room of the greenhouse. We wouldn't really grow anything in this soil. 
Are you skid or loader? Huh. I'm loader. You're skid. Yep. I can, can I be on that one? Well, I gotta start gluing over here. Okay. So we just slide it off from where it is. And hold it. We want to cut these in six foot sections. Well, I was wondering that too. You just uh, you have more seams, but okay. Since finishing this east wall and getting the south wall insulated, it can get really hot in here. Easily gets to over 100 degrees. We usually have to open the windows and the door every day just to keep some airflow going through here. The other thing that is new now um, is if I don't open the windows and the door, we get a lot of condensation on the Lexon and even on the north wall, the steel siding. We don't have the fans set up yet, the blowers. That's what these tubes are for back here. You see those tubes behind me? Um, those are gonna circulate the air underground and these tubes over here are going to bring in fresh air into the cold room and then there's a fresh air intake also in the the bigger part of the greenhouse so it's kind of a whole new game now that the greenhouse is completely enclosed we're seeing that we really need to get the blowers in place um, and keep some circulation going through here yeah it's a totally different climate in here now